Continuing coverage tonight of an animal cruelty case out of Greenfield. The owner of 13 horses seized just days ago at a Saratoga County property is speaking out tonight. Dwayne Carpenter is facing more than a few charges after the DA's office says his horses were not being taken care of the right way. He sat down with our Lynn Falsetti this afternoon to share his side of the story. It's political. It doesn't have anything to do with the health of the horses. Dwayne Carpenter is speaking out in his own defense. He stopped by our studio Sunday afternoon saying his name is being dragged through the mud. His 13 horses now in the care of volunteer and rescue organizations after being removed from this Greenfield property on Friday. To, to lose these horses is absolutely devastating. Um, when when I heard, got word that they were being taken, um, I was so distraught I, I had to leave work. Carpenter lives in Albany and drives to the Saratoga County property to care for the horses and check on them every day. It's an 80 mile round trip for me and the time that I spend with those horses is the best part of my day. But a judge ordered Carpenter to forfeit ownership of the horses after claims the horses were not being properly taken care of. Saratoga County District Attorney Karen Hagan says this started back in 2011 when the horse's previous owner, Ann Arnold, was charged and convicted of not providing proper food and water. Carpenter is Arnold's brother, who then took ownership. He was also charged and convicted of failing to provide proper sustenance, along with a caretaker he hired. Conditions that they're in are totally unsafe. It's not your normal farm environment. There's wires everywhere. There's, there's uh, wood with nails sticking up. But Carpenter tells CBS 6 that there was a running stream on the property. He shared this video exclusively with us. He says he took this on the day sheriffs came to observe the conditions on his property. In it, you can see the stream running. Water, he says, the horse's veterinarian deemed suitable for them to drink. They had one deputy sheriff stumbling around in the dark looking for water, and he couldn't find it. And on that basis, they charged me. My veterinarian has seen these horses probably eight times over the last 14 months, which is far more often than most people have veterinarians see their horses. My veterinarian is satisfied. He blames old age on why the horses are so thin. Even when you take those measures, there's only so much you can do. They will not hold as much weight. It's just true. But according to the SPCA, some of the horses seized had to undergo medical care, and some were dangerously thin. The horses are now around the state in several locations, some as far away as Cooperstown and Rochester. Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. The caretaker Carpenter hired was sentenced to three years probation. Carpenter was also convicted on two counts of not providing proper food and water and sustenance in March. He's still awaiting sentencing.